the famous friend zone, the place where no one wants to be, but uh, many people do things in order to be placed there, or they themselves place uh, themselves there. And um, I want to tell you how that happens, how to avoid it. And uh, I'm going to do that by telling you a story. So this is the fourth season. We are talking about love affairs. And uh, I'm trying to cover all possible topics in terms of relationships. Um, erotic, no sensual relationships between people. And uh, I'm going to tell you a story. You draw your own conclusions and um, you will see what I'm talking about when it comes to friend zone. So I met this girl and um, we dated one night. We had one date, so to say. And it was very nice and special. I liked her. She liked me or apparently she did like me. And um, the following day I had to leave because I'm traveling very often and um, I had already appointments, arrangements, working stuff and I had to leave. So I left, I felt bad, she felt bad, we stayed in touch and we kept messaging each other. And uh, around five months passed and we were still messaging each other. I want to see you, let's try to meet, let's try to coincide here, there and so on. And it was never happening. And um, suddenly it did happen. And we met. But I need to tell you something. We didn't know that we were going to meet until five days before we actually met. And I had noticed that in the last month or so, she was a bit more distant. And for someone with at least a little bit of experience and... Uh, perception of what, what's going on, I knew that something was happening. I knew that she was probably dating someone. She had met someone, which was a perfectly in order. We never promised anything to each other. We never gave guarantees of anything to each other. We never demanded anything from each other. We just met once, we liked, and we wanted to meet again. We wanted to be together again. And uh, we only made it after five months. So she had all the right to be already married and pregnant at that time. And uh, me too, I could be with someone. It didn't happen. And I noticed that a month before she started being different, distant. But anyways, I wanted to meet her. She said she wanted to meet me. And a couple of days before uh, we actually met, I found out that it was going to be possible to meet. And uh, we met. I, I went to her. We, we had this meeting somewhere. And uh, she told me, I started dating someone and I don't want to mess it up. So unfortunately, we are not going to be able to have anything. I don't want to be this kind of person. I really wanted to see you. I, ex I waited so long to see you and I'm very happy that you are here, but nothing can happen because I just recently started dating someone like a month ago and I want things to go right. I don't want to do anything wrong. And I, who never play games, it doesn't matter if she was playing games or not, I, who never play games, I said, perfectly, all good, no problem. And I didn't try anything. I didn't play what people would say in these dating channels. You have to play the alpha. You have to command. You have to make her do things and so on. I didn't do anything. I said, it's all good. No problem. No hurt feelings. Life goes on. Maybe our paths will cross again. That would be great. Meanwhile, have a great life. I wish you all the best in this that you have been starting now. And she said, okay, good. She was a bit surprised, but she said, okay, good. Not a couple weeks later, not a couple months later, a couple days later, she messages me. And she said, I had plans of doing this and that, and they changed it, and uh, something weird happened, and I don't even know why I'm telling you that, but uh, where are you going to be within the next weeks? And I said, I'm going to be this place. And she said, okay, I'm going to be there as well. And we talk. And I was like, is there anything I can do for you? I wasn't even thinking of what could be. I wanted to help because if I can help, I will help her, anyone, whoever I can help. If it's in my power, I will help. And I wanted to know what was going on to be able to help. And I was like, is everything okay? Is there anything wrong with you? And she's like, no, no, it's all good. But I want to see you and talk to you face to face. And I was like, okay. So we meet. And we talk face to face. And what happens is that she went through a big delusion 
with the person she was um, starting to date. And she wanted to see me and tell me. That's all for now. And um, she told me the story. I heard the story. It was a, de a delusion. It's true. It was a disappointment. She expected something and it didn't happen. And the person did something that was not nice. And she told me all those things. And I heard and I gave her some advice. And, I'm, and I said, I'm really sorry for you, but I didn't try anything. I didn't try, oh, now it's my turn. I will try to kiss her, to have something with her. I will show some interest. I didn't. And I know she was surprised by that. What does she do? I'm not sure whether that was conscious or not. I paid careful attention to her to see her reactions, her eye look, her way of behaving. And I really don't think it was... Um, premeditated. I really don't think she was playing. I mean, she played, but I'm not sure whether that was conscious or not. At the end of the conversation, she said, thank you so much for listening to me and for giving me advice. Uh, you are a good friend. And with all the respect in the world and uh, with all the, the um, care to not be offensive, to not be aggressive, I told her, uh, look, I am not your friend. And she was very surprised. She even moved backwards. I said, I'm not your friend. I'm doing what I would have done to anyone. If I can help, I will help. But you remain a woman for me. You remain a female for me. That's how I see you as a woman, as a female, as a potential partner. I don't look at you as a friend. If we were in a relationship, in a long-term relationship, of course, I will look at you as a friend because I also want the person I'm with to be friends, to be partners, to be someone I can trust and count on in case I need, just like the person can count on me in case she needs. But I don't look at you as a friend. And she was really surprised. And immediately, immediately, right away, her facial expression changed. Her eye look became sparkly with fire, with uh, a little bit of malice. She looked at me with that smile that shows like, mm, I know what's going on. I understand what's going on here. And immediately the game changed, immediately. And well, I don't need to tell you what happened afterwards. You already know. Why am I telling you this story? Because you are going to allow yourself to be put in, in the friend zone. You are going to act in a way that is going to put you in there. Be you a man or a woman. I know that it normally happens more with guys being friend zoned by women, but it happens more often than you think men friend zoning women that want to have something with them. So what I'm telling you today is useful for both men and women. Do not allow yourself to be put in, in the friend zone. It is on you to do something. I'm not telling you to be weird disgusting, obnoxious, nasty, uh, cheesy, or weird in a way that it's creepy for the other person, that is weird and so on. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you in a very polite manner, like I did, in a very calm manner, not challenging, not defying, not threatening, you are going to show the person, this is how I see you. You are going to, to make the person understand that the way you see her, him, or whatever is not as a friend. And you can even verbally express that saying, I don't see you as a friend. You are not a friend for me. That's the way I did it. I clearly said with all the words, I'm sorry, but I'm not your friend. And immediately the game changed. Immediately all the perspectives changed. If you are interested in someone and you are afraid of being put in the friend zone, you have from day one, you have from the very first moment to show the person that you don't see the person as a friend. And again, I repeat, don't be weird. Don't be creepy. Don't jump on the person and grab the person and try to kiss and show how dominant you are and this and that. Just show clearly the person. This is how I see you. Make a compliment on the physical appearance. Look with certain malice. Look showing the person that you are really interested. Verbalize that if needed. Act in a way that the person clearly notices that you do not see her or him as a friend. 
And if they call you friend, you tell them, I'm not your friend. If they act as if you were a friend and they want to tell you something, you tell them, I am not your friend. I will try to help you because I would help anyone because that's my way of being. That's my mindset, my heart. But I'm not here as a friend. And I want you to know that I see you as a potential partner, blah, 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 blah. And you make it clear from the very beginning. No one is going to friend zone you unless you allow that. If you have been friend zoned, you have put in yourself in this position. You have allowed the situation to get there. Avoid that situation. Show from the very beginning your intentions with clarity and uh, with respect towards the other person, but making the person understand exactly where you are at and exactly what you want. See you in the next episode.